In pictures from her most recent vacation to Turkey, Katie Price slid into a bikini by the pool to recuperate from her 10,000-pound facelift. Following her sixth facial surgery, the 45-year-old glamour model, who had her 17th breast augmentation at a Brussels facility last year, was left with sores and surgical tape on her face. A few hours before her detention upon her return to the UK for missing her bankruptcy court, she and her 22-year-old son Harvey lounged in the sun at the five-star hotel in Istanbul, which cost £133 a night. In the blue two-piece, Katie basked in the sun despite having an arrest warrant out for her in connection with the £760,000 case. She eventually covered herself with a huge 520-pound Prada hat after pulling her dark hair back into a disheveled bun. The mother of five had various facial procedures done while she was away, such as a brow lift, neck lift, lip lift, and adjustment to her pixie ears. A little more than a week earlier, she utilized the swimming pool with blood all over her face and incisions weeping leaving other vacationers to complain that their vacation had been spoiled. Visitors claimed that they were so taken aback by Katie's beauty that they were unable to unwind when she came. In a TripAdvisor review, a traveler attacked the TV personality for utilizing the pool while sporting incisions weeping with pus and staples holding their scalp on. The celebrity has been photographed appearing considerably less bruised and bandaged after arriving back in the UK. After failing to show up for bankruptcy hearings, Katie was quickly detained at Heathrow Airport upon her return to the UK and eventually appeared at the Royal Courts of Justice. Judge Daniel Schaefer, Deputy Insolvency and Company's Court, gave the model an order during the hearing to provide an undertaking to the court that she will appear for another hearing on August 27th at 10.30 a.m. to answer questions on her finances. You have to be there on that date. No ifs or buts, no vacations, no traveling abroad he declared. After confirming that she was aware she had to go, Katie added, I will move my diary for it. With Katie's detention, her boyfriend J.J. Slater, who accompanied her on her flight to Turkey with her 22-year-old son Harvey, had to pick her up at the airport. Before her court appearance on August 9th, she was placed under remand in detention at a West London police station and released on bond a few hours later by an off-duty magistrate. Judge Schaefer set aside the arrest warrant that had been issued for her on July 30th by a different judge due to her non-attendance at an earlier hearing. A judge first issued the warrant when she neglected to show up for a hearing regarding her massive £760,000 debt. During the court hearing, Katie said she was away working for a documentary on corrective surgeries. Not that she was running from matters. I am aware that I am about to be detained at the airport, which is obviously what the courts feel is necessary. Katie wrote in an Instagram statement that has since been removed. Naturally, I'm hoping that they will grant my son, who is with me, some dignity and protection, if only for his own sake, since he will find this to be very upsetting. Even though I am aware of the gravity and importance of the situation, I still feel like I am being treated like a criminal. A judge decided last week that Katie's revenue from TikTok will be suspended in order to help her pay off debt from her two bankruptcies. Price was declared bankrupt twice in 2019, once in November, due to an outstanding tax debt of £761,994.05. Judge Catherine Burton of the Insolvency and Companies Court declared on Monday that it was appropriate to impose a suspension of further payments to Price from TikTok until a resolution could be reached. Price did not attend or provide representation during the remote hearing. Price was ordered by a judge in February to repay 40% of her OnlyFans monthly earnings until February 2027. At that time, Price's trustee for her bankruptcies, Barrister Dara Connell, informed the court that she had already entered into a voluntary agreement over her debts, but he said she hadn't paid the agreed-upon amounts. The order was expanded to include eight more entities that provide revenue for Price in July. Earlier, attorneys for the trustee of her bankruptcies had requested that the order be expanded to include TikTok. However, the platform's attorneys responded that although they did not disagree with the proposal, they were unable to approve it because of the payment systems in place for video artists.